Hi, I'm Chelsea from Love My Brit, and I'm here today to talk to you about my experience with applying for a UK provisional driving license, driving lessons, as well as taking my theory test. Earlier this year, I applied for a job in the dog training community, which I was very lucky and offer, was offered the position. So after applying for this job, I knew that getting my manual driving license in the UK was really crucial. Because this job required me to drive everywhere, I knew that with my US driving license not being transferable over here, that it was important that I applied for the UK driving license test and did everything that I was required to do in order to pass it before my US one expired. It technically expires one year to the day that you arrived in the UK. So I only had about three and a half months left before mine was due to expire. So I just thought the earlier I get started on this, the better. So we applied online through the DVLA website for my provisional driving license. I had to wait about a week or so for my application to come through in the mail. So even though I filled out stuff on the internet, I still had a physical form that I had to complete that they sent me. Um, I had to prove my rights to drive in the UK, so I submitted my BRP card, my biometrics residence permit card, as well as one passport photo. What I really liked about this application form was that this little corner where you were meant to stick your passport photo in had a peel away slip and it was completely adhesive so you were able to stick your passport photo onto there, fold it up and then mail it back into them. About three weeks later or so the hard copy of my provisional license actually arrived through the post and on there we were able to read my um, license number or my provisional license number which enabled us to actually set an appointment for my theory test. We tried utilizing my husband's driving license number to see if that would allow us to see what the appointment times were, but the website just recognized that he's already had one done, so it said that he wasn't capable of going further through the menu screen. So really, that little loophole that we tried didn't work. You, ca you can't view the appointment times without using your own provisional license number, so you're just going to have to wait. The unfortunate part about booking your theory test is depending on where you live, it could be really, really busy. So be mindful that, you know, when you're looking at the screen and you're given your choice, that it might be a month out before you're capable of selecting a day and a time to take this theory test. I will say that waiting and looking around for cancellations was really good and basically I was able to nab one that had been cancelled from someone else for a week later and so I successfully took that appointment for myself and didn't have to wait a full month out. When it came time to looking around for driving lessons I had to confirm with the DVLA first that I wasn't required to have my provisional license on hand in order to start these driving lessons with a professional. Because I'm a foreign driving license holder, I wasn't required to hold a provisional license to start my lessons. And to be honest, these lessons weren't like novice lessons. They were honestly just a refresher for me. Um, just kind of learning the, the UK signs that are on the roads as well as just kind of trying to familiarize myself with driving on the opposite side of the road, the opposite side of the car. I've always driven a manual car back in the US so I knew the mechanics and how to drive a manual but going from shifting gears with my right hand to my left hand which especially is not a dominant hand for me it was a little iffy at times I would um, slip and go to the wrong gear or grind it embarrassingly. So I think I took about four lessons in total, but because I wasn't a novice driver, I made sure that 
whoever I had booked my lessons on with was someone who's worked with someone like me, a foreign license holder. You know, I wanted them to be experienced teaching someone who knows how to drive, but just a little differently. And I really appreciated that. And my instructor was awesome. I, I recommend him to everybody in my area who asks me about it. So fast forward, now it's time to take my theory test. And again, we got this one because of a canceled appointment from somebody else, so I only had a week to study and prepare. To be honest, if you're already a license holder from another country, it's going to be fairly easy stuff for you to learn and absorb. There's a little bit, um, you know, some different things here and there, like the procedures that they do. But for the most part, it's all pretty much the same. So taking the test was no biggie. I had practiced several times on an app through my phone that we had downloaded from the DVLA uh, website as well, or not the website, but just through the, the apps menu on my phone, I was able to download this and practice. So read and study as much as you can for the theory test just so that you feel more confident and i probably would suggest that everyone studies for it i wouldn't have gone into it blind and just hoped that i could guess it right um it was about what 15 minutes i mean i was in and out pretty quickly so i find that, that was really helpful because it's not going to be like an hour-long stress test or anything but you do have two different forms of the test that you need to take so it's all multiple choice online on the computer where you click and answer the questions. And then there's also uh, the hazard perception test where you watch a video and click the mouse when you feel that anything that comes about in the video is a potential hazard or a major hazard. And it can tell whether or not you cheated by if you've clicked too much, too much or too fast. I think if you exceed 10 clicks or more, they cancel you out for that one and don't give you a good score on it. So I was fortunate enough to have passed my theory test the first time, continued on with my driving lessons or refresher lessons to help prepare me for my driving test that I was going to take in the nearby future. If you have any questions about taking the provisional test or obtaining your provisional license, Feel free to ask me some questions or write them in the box below. Uh, I know for some of us it can feel a little embarrassing thinking that you've been driving for all these years in another country and suddenly you move to a new one and it doesn't work out that way anymore. But the thing is, is we have to consider that our driving um, tests are a bit different. So we just have to qualify under their rules and then once you do, it's just a fresh breath of uh, relief, really. I mean, you don't have to think about it anymore, and it's not anything that you have to consider again in the future. Again, questions and comments in the box below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and we hope to see you again in the nearby future. Bye.